coming to you shooting the second video but this is going to be on crochet um the first thing i wanted to show you is the pocketbook i finished um it's going out to a dear lady a friend of mine and um she asked me for a white and black uh bag um i put a little gray in it because the white and black just looked mm, that just didn't look right so i took some of it out and i just added some gray um i got the the pattern half of the pattern from um half of the pattern from uh obw one virtuous woman and but i changed it a little bit because i really didn't like the sides um like i made this one i got so much junk in it i made this one i think i had showed y'all before i use this quite a lot but i just didn't like the sides open as much so I sewed up the sides. So that's this a little rounder than this one. Than this one is. The one I just made. Um, but this one I did totally different than, not totally different, but somewhat different. I didn't do the straps um, the way she that bag has and the way uh, she had did on her tutorial. Which it was nothing wrong with her tutorial. It was great. Uh, but um I have made them before and I just wanted to try something different because um, I've been making bags like crazy and I try to do them um, I try to do them where every bag is going to be different you know, and unique so anyway this is the bag I made and it's basically with a point I wanted to, to dip in some but it didn't so this is how it looks that's the side and I did it with the three um, skeins of yarn and this is the strap so she will have it like this this is how she will have it um, I'm thinking I've been doing a lot of black belt buttons and I'm just like I don't know um, I'm thinking I'm going to try to find some jewelry uh, AC Moore had a big thing of jewelry for a dollar like um, not a big thing but this assortment of different um, buckles and clasps and stuff like that. So I'm going to go down there and see if I can find one that's going to can go right here to close the, the pocketbook. So I'm going to really set it off. And I think it's going to be silver. I think it's going to be silver. But that was the bag I finished. And also I lined it. It has black. It's a regular black lining. Because it, since it's so gappy. Um, I think the sequence, the back of it looks dull. So the front of it is really vibrant. So I didn't want, you know, something not dull, but it just looked it funny. So I didn't want nothing in and then another one material I have is sequenced, but that would look funny with sequence you can see through the bag, I think. I don't know. You know, I asked my daughter, she was like, No, mom, don't put it that way. So I didn't do it that way. The second thing and the last thing I wanted to show you was what I'm wearing. I spoke to you in my other videos about um, yeah, a geisha shirt. And um, I went and I started doing uh, the double uh, stitch twins pattern. Um, when they have the half cut shirt like, well it's not, it's, this comes here and it just hangs on your arm just a little bit. So I added to it to make this. And I think I really, really like this. Um, you really can't get it on with a jacket because the sleeves are really, really bulky. I wanted to show you how wide the sleeves are. And it's reversible. And it's reversible. So, if you would, um, or you were, you were wearing um, an outfit and there's more black in it, here you go. This is basically, it's reversible. Um... There's two sides. I wanted to make a, um, I'm going to try, I really, really want to make a striped one. Um, only thing that's stopping me is, you know, I'm trying to lose weight and I think stripes and stuff makes you look bigger. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. But I love these shirts. Um, especially when, um, fall is about to come upon us. So I, uh, I had some orders to make some. And I just think they're just good and they're drapey. I would like to make the arms a little longer. 
my arms is pretty long you know so um i would like them a little bit longer um i wear a lot of bracelets and bangles um the accents it accent where my wrist is but i just want them a little longer so i'm gonna have to work on something or even if you gather it up right here let me show you let me show you if you gather it up right here like you pull it down and it'd be like bulky up top but you know maybe you can put some elastic around the wrist area i don't know just thinking out loud but um i like these shirts and they're just really easy to make um it's basically you do the um i tried to write a pattern for it and i sent it out to a couple girls but it's just i haven't seen anybody make it because i'm not really good at that at all um because when i'm basically crocheting i'm going i'm just crocheting I, I look at it i try it on i look at it i try it on and i go from there so um but basically you do their concept of the half cut like um i think it's called a, it might be a shrug i'm not sure i really have to look that up i don't know but it's on red heart and it's a free pattern is this a shirt i mean half cut matter of fact i think c watts made one so it's basically like hers but you just go straight down um a lot of them i made with thin yarn this is with super saver so it is very thick very hot not a day like this it's almost 90 in philly um but it's um it's uh it's very heavy you know and it's good it's like a jacket or you know i can see you getting in and out of the car and you wearing this fine um but uh i have an order to make a rust colored one and a cream one um but she just want cream up top so i'm gonna I'm have to figure out how i'm doing that but uh, the rust color she wants all over. She wants one color all over. So um, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna put my mind together and try to make that. But that's one of the things I make during the winter time. Um, because it's, uh, it's warm, it's one piece, it's reversible, you get your money's worth out of it. But, uh, and it's soft. It's not really hard, you know, it's soft. So, uh, and I didn't have this about, hmm, about two years now about two years now but if you just follow the pattern once you get do your arms and then I took it straight down and I sewed in the thing but I made it kind of wide I made it kind of wide um I might go all the way down and just put a big thick belt around it um the bottom I did I followed the pattern down then these are all double crochet so I could just make a, a hem not a hem but a a baseline to the bottom I don't know exactly what that's called you know you can comment and let me know uh, other than that um, everything's been great um, everything's been great and uh, I hope to see y'all soon I'm still working on that uh, purple that deep purple dress I'm making I'm kind of dragging my feet because it's actually boring to make because it's this one color uh, as y'all know I just hate making one color uh, I'm thinking about also making these and making a flower to go on you can remove and on and off uh, I think that would be pretty and I also have a headband to match this one uh, was also gray and this the, the headband is black uh, and the flower is gray and black and um, that looks pretty good that looks good with some black boots mmm all right y'all have a great wednesday and i will see you probably tomorrow if my son lets me use his computer <laughs> all right bye